Hey guys, we're back playing Ogre Battle, and we're going to send Saradin back to base and have Canopus go do his thing with the liberation of the towns. I believe there's one treasure here in this stage, and it is right about here. So in like a minute or so, if no enemies pop out, um, I'll have Warren go grab that, and then I will show you where the Chaos Gate is. I'll keep that one on. Figaro, huh? The whole continent. <laughs> all this text is all, like, old now. Because it's talking about, oh, he was sent to stop you once and for all. But he had been sent, like, forever ago because... Uh... You know, this is... We skipped this stage for quite some time. But... Uh, Figaro is one of the four... I don't, I, I'm going to say call them divas. Oh, you bastard. I'm just going to call them divas. Diva, deva, I don't know what, what the official pronunciation is. Uh, yeah. We did find word home. Thank you. They, they, they'll remind you about that. In pretty much every stage that has a chaos gate, they'll remind you. Did you find the legendary sword? Because you're going to need it. Nobody doesn't look like anybody's coming around, so we should be good to go and move him over here so he doesn't walk by the boss trying to get to the treasure. Uh, but yeah, Figaro's one of the four divas. Uh, Debonair was also one of the four divas. And I don't think we've met the other two yet. I think uh, they're both in boss stage bosses of stages in the Empire, so like we'll come across them shortly. If I if I'm wrong, ooh, alignment for everybody. If I'm wrong, feel free to correct me, but I don't recall fighting them. Yeah, the real thing, huh? Yeah. Platinum Dragons. Which he doesn't, actually. Platinum Dragons are level 20-something. They're the third stage evolu- or, uh, I almost said, said evolution. They're the third stage class upgrade of uh, high alignment dragons. The dragon tree is actually fairly simple. It's you have your basic dragon, and then when it reaches a certain level, you can change it to either. Or I think the first uh, the first uh, upgrade is at level seven, and it's the mid alignment, the red dragon, and then that goes up to you know it's a red dragon, and then it goes up to red dragon two, which is just like the same. It's, it's the exact same except the sprite's different. It's standing on its hind legs and looking all menacing. And then the uh, the last upgrade is called the Salamander, Salaman, Salamander, and it has a oh more alignment. It has an awesome ability called Supernova, which ultimately destroys things. I mean, it's ridiculously powerful. Ooh, Forest Pendant, Way of Kings, huh? I believe there's some treasures you get that are I don't think I don't think they're random, but they they seem to be like randomly in towns. Like that well while not random, well that's a scripted event, not random. That just kinda seemed like a random like I walked into a town, hey I'm liberating it. Oh here, have this thing. And I don't think that item actually does anything for you. Let's check it real quick. Pendant, force pendant, contains Oh, okay, I guess it does. Alright, come on, Warren. Find the treasure. It's here somewhere. But yeah, then I think at level 8, if you have a high alignment dragon, you can upgrade it to a silver dragon, and then it goes to a gold dragon, which is really cool looking and all gold. And then it goes to a platinum dragon, which is one of the... I don't know what, what it is about ice elemental attacks, but like, you know... Obviously, having a lord with the high alignment, you get the ice cloud spell. And uh, platinum dragons have the ice cloud spell. Please don't liberate that town more. Please walk around it. Walk around it. Walk around. Oh, thank God. But yeah, they have the ice cloud spell. Uh, a lot of different things. Just ice element. Ice elemental attacks seem to be like the best, as opposed to. You know, most Final Fantasy games where Thunder is the best attack. Yeah, we 
the invitation card. Yeah, we'll keep that one. Is he? Special attack. Cut it. Ooh. Okay, so he can kill a dragon. The Black Knight? No, he's not. He's a general, like Debonair, like Tristan. Yeah, we'll go over here, grab this. Alrighty, hopefully I get a lot of money from this, because taking that last uh, that last day that where I had no towns liberated cost me quite a bit in my pocket. Um, there is a Chaos Gate here, which I don't think it goes anywhere we haven't been to. I think it goes to Organa, as opposed to the other one that went to uh, Muzpelm. And since those two quote unquote connect to one another, you can actually get Organa. F you know, if you skip this stage, as I did for the reasons of uh, super high alignment game, you can go to Organa easily by, you know, just going to Muzpelm and getting the gate there and then going. But if you skip Muzpelm, you can actually open it this way. Oh, what the hell. Uh, one second. Alright, we're good to go. For some strange reason, like, this controller will randomly come disconnected from the computer. Like, the computer will not recognize it for a minute. Come on. No. Not three. Oh, you jerk. Many Imperial troops dancing, advancing. Yeah, they're, they're looking for the, uh... Yeah, that's the, your clues to where the chaos gate is. But this controller will randomly come, like, disconnected. Like, it'll do that little d noise thing. What, what is going on? What? What is... Whatever the hell that was. I need another controller. This one is bollocks. I missed the town. Um, yeah, so it'll randomly just become, like, disconnected from the computer, and then the computer won't recognize it. And then, for most things, like, it'll ran it'll reconnect, ran you know, like, in a second or two. But for most things, it just, I won't be able to use it for a quick second. Yeah, I'll return more in space. But for this, if, like, it becomes disconnected, like, and then it reconnects, like, the computer won't even, the emulator won't recognize that it's there. So I have to, or it will, it will recognize that it's there, but it won't let me use it until I basically restart the emulator. So I have to do another, another save state. Ooh, Sheedy's here? Oh. Okay, so let's... I mean, if he's here, why don't we go kill him? We can solve half the problem right there. You know, first Rashidi, then the Empress. Spoilers, it's not gonna be like that. Alright, there we... There's a city. On one of those islands. I don't know which I believe it's this one here. And Alyssa. Come on, something good. Yay, more intelligence. World cards. I don't think we need that. Zenobi and Milano. No, oh, that's right, because they don't trade anymore. Did I need to buy? No, not particularly. I still can't move the damn thing to the left or the right? What the hell? This controller's nonsense. Oh, I did find it. There we go. Thankfully, he found it in one second. I have to have him running all over the island trying to find it. Yeah, sure. Another world card. 
two world cards in a stage does absolutely nothing, except give you two world cards. And I already found a chaos gate. Oh, okay, so that's why Rashidi's here. Yeah, again, a lot of things, a lot of, uh, the best hints will come from hidden towns and temples, because you're not supposed to, well, you can't technically see them, so finding them will give you, you know, the best insight as to what you're supposed to do. Alright, so it appears just to be two cities left. This one and the one right below, which, that one is awesome because it's right below the boss and then it's like, you can just, you know, warp whatever boss killer you need to go down there and then he's just like, hey, I'm just gonna... Just gonna walk right up and... Well, what's with the Hierophant cards, man? They want my alignment to be through the roof. Uh, no, I don't. I hate heat. <laughs> yeah, he tells you either way. Golems, Ice Giants, and Platinum Dragons. There may be another uh, treasure in the stage. I don't think there is, because I'm looking at this map here, and I can't see another X. But, the, you know, it's it, the entire area is white. And the map is in black and white, so, like, it's really difficult to tell uh, if there's, you know, a white X on a white, you know, part of a black and white map. Because, I mean, sure, you know, it's like, it's all cool for conformity to have everything look the same, you know, with all the maps being the same, you know, in black and white. But it's really difficult. Oh, come on! Does anybody have a controller they're willing to donate? Jeez. I actually I'm due for a new one. I really shouldn't be all like, oh man, this sucks. I should just get another one and stop whining about it. See that the reason she came here to break through a cascade. Well I did that. Uh take them over, duh. Alright, so what we're gonna do is we're going to Boy Tristan, with his ridiculous 20 grand unit cost, and then we need to boots him to that town. Let's take it up there. Alright, come on guys, come on. This controller is messed up like five ways from Sunday. <laughs> Where's my tarot card? This thing. I have a fool. No, I don't. Uh, Emperor. Let's use a couple of jokers. See if I can get a fool card. Priestess. No. 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 Really? Thank you. I knew it was going to be the last one. Um... What was I going to say? Oh, like, uh... Sun cards? Like, they seem like a great idea. They suck. They're a pain in the ass. They refuse to work half the time. Of course Devonair's alive. Uh, he walked into the castle to say, hey. Yeah, starving people and Apros is... Yeah, it's like he's trying to tell him that, uh... It's that whole thing where, you know... You swore an oath to protect somebody and fight with them, and then you realize that you're, they're doing stuff you don't approve of, but you don't know how to get around that. So what do you do? Yeah. Do they look like Platinum Dragons to you? No. Get the hell out of here. Both of you. Alright. I actually have a hard time telling which one's which. I think 
uh, yeah, Tristan's the one on the top. He's the one that's a little lighter in color, and he does more damage. And then there's Ronnie, who's like, yeah, 34. And then there's this one random Dominate, who's kind of like, yeah, I'm just here. He did pretty good damage, too. And Debonair gets the win, yes! Alright. That's why you need him. Well, not to finish off the guy, but you need him to for this fight here. Yeah. I was ho I when I first got this, when I realized that I needed Debonair for this fight, and I went back and did it, I was so like excited. I was like, "Yeah, Figaro! After this, Figaro's gonna see the light, and he's gonna join us." And it was like, "No, boy, he's just dead." And then there were three. And one of the Devas is ours. Um, if I recall correctly, one of the other Devas is an actual general, the same class that Debonair and Figaro are, and one of them is the same class that Apros was, that kind of Lord Green-looking dude with the blonde hair. And he gave us the Durandal. The Durandal is his sword. Um, because it, it's not the strongest weapon in the game, in fact it's kind of you know, weak compared to some other things. I think it's stronger than what I put on him. No, it isn't. But I'm gonna, you know, just take it off him so I can have uh, something for somebody else. Okay, he's, they're fine. Wait, does, he have a, does Gilbert have a or Lion? Yeah, he does. Elder Pendant. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of running out of out of uh, people to put <laughs> weapons on. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, yeah, okay, so, that's done. Now, if you look, you have Antalya open, and you have the Tundra open. This is stage 15 and 16, right there. And again, we're gonna do some skipping, because to defeat the boss of this one, we need a character from this one. So, next stage, we're gonna do Antalya. So, thank you guys so much for watching, thanks for all your support, everybody, and have a good night.